Welcome to day five of 21 days of prayer. We're almost through our first week. And as we pray today through the Lord's Prayer, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. And, uh, and we're going to be looking at forgiveness from two different perspectives. And I want to read you a verse that actually Jesus says um, right after the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6. He says this in verse 14. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But... If you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Now that is pretty sobering. So today as we pray, we're going to be praying from both sides of that verse. Uh, each of us have people in our lives that have done things to us, hurt us for a variety of different reasons, and we need to extend forgiveness to those people. Maybe you have some people in your mind right now. And also, like David did all throughout his life, and we see it through the Psalms, he continually came before the Lord in an attitude of repentance and asking for the forgiveness of his sins and for God to cleanse his heart. And so as we pray, we're going to be coming at it from both of those sides this morning. So be thinking through what are those things in your life that you need forgiveness for? And also, who are the people who have maybe done things and offended you that you need to be able to extend some forgiveness? forgiveness to today. So be thinking about both of those as we pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for uh, this amazing thing called forgiveness. We thank you that uh, it is powerful and that your forgiveness is powerful to wash away our sins. And Lord, right now we begin by just coming before you and, uh, and God, we think about those people that have wronged us. We think about those things that have done things, uh, those people who have done things to us that, that have caused us to, to live in maybe a place of unforgiveness towards them. And Father, today we think about those people, we put those, those faces in our mind, and Lord, we extend forgiveness to them. Lord, to not keep track of things, to not keep count or record of what they've done, but to truly forgive and to let them go, to not hold them captive in unforgiveness any further. And God, we do the same thing by asking you to come and forgive us for those areas where we continue to fall short. Lord, we come with repentant hearts for those things that, that time and time again we stumble with or those things that we wrestle with. And God, we bring those and we lay those before you. And just like David, we ask that you would come and that you would cleanse our heart and that you purify us, Father. We pray that you would forgive every little thing that we've done that's an offense to you and every large thing that we've done that's offense to you. So Father, even not even in this moment, but through the rest of this day, God, help us to be able to forgive and to be able to accept and receive your forgiveness over our lives. Thank you for this incredible gift of forgiveness. Amen. Well, have a great day and we will see you right back here tomorrow for day six.